uh, interdic interdiction efforts need to start way beyond our borders, just like we did when I was in Mexico City. I am sure that there's some type of efforts uh, that are being done that we might not be aware of, uh, but we were very public with the, with the efforts that we did, with the operations that we did. I'm gonna give you examples of how effective they were. When I first got to Mexico City as a district director, we had a boatload of Chinese that numbered more than 200 that were being smuggled to Southern Mexico. They were interdicted by the U.S. Coast Guard, and the practice before had been to repatriate the large number of Chinese to their native land, sometimes at a cost of more than $1 million to our government. The boats or the vessels uh, were oftentimes released, and the crew and the smugglers were not prosecuted. For the first time, when I got to Mexico City, we initiated an effort with the Guatemalan government to be able to board the vessel along with our U.S. Coast Guard, take statements from some of the smuggled aliens, and set up a prosecution program with the U.S. Attorney's Office in Washington, D.C., that ultimately ended up with eight of the crew members and some of the snakeheads on that vessel being prosecuted and convicted in Washington, D.C. That was an effective deterrence strategy uh, and, det and, and effective actions that we took against the smugglers.